Hello guys, welcome to Science Tutor YouTube channel. Today our lesson is about how to balance chemical equation. As you already know, in a chemical reaction, atoms of one or more substance are rearranged to form new set of substance. Also, in a chemical reaction, matter is neither created nor destroyed and atoms cannot change their identity. This implies that there should be equal number of each type of atoms on both sides of the chemical equation. Now let's have a look at how to balance chemical equation in five easy steps. In order to balance chemical equation, our first step is count the number of atoms of the reactants. Our second step is count the number of atoms of the product. Then, as the third step, we must determine which atoms are not balanced. Our fourth step is at lowest possible coefficient to make the number of atoms equal in both sides of reaction arrow. As the final step, we must double check our balanced equation. Now, as an example, let's consider the equation of reaction between magnesium and chlorine to produce magnesium chloride. So, what do we need to do in order to balance chemical equation is count atoms of each element in both right hand side and left hand side. Generally, in the left hand side, there, there are reactants and in the right hand side, there are products. So, in the reactant side, we have one magnesium atom and two chlorine atoms. As you can see, if we consider Cl2 molecule, the subscript of chlorine is 2. This small number is subscript of that particular element and it indicates that amount of atoms of that element in the molecule. So, Cl2 molecule has two chlorine atoms. Likewise, in the product side, we have one magnesium atom and two chlorine atoms because this subscript of 2 belongs only chlorine. Then, as our third step, we should determine which elements are not balanced. We have one magnesium atom in the reactant side and one magnesium atom in the product side. So then, in our equation, number of magnesium atoms are equal in both sides of the reaction arrow. Similarly, Chlorine also balance in our reaction, which is 2 in both sides. Hence, our equation is balanced and no need to add any coefficient. Now, let's look at another example. Hydrogen react with oxygen to produce H2O, known as water. As you remember, our first step is count the number of atoms in reactant side. There are two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms in reactant side. Now, let's count the number of atoms in products. By considering subscript H2O molecule, we can say that there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms. Now, let's see which atoms are not balanced. In our equation, hydrogen atoms of both sides are equal, but oxygen atoms are not balanced. As two oxygen atoms in reactant side and one oxygen atom in product side. Therefore, in order to balance our chemical equation, we have to add coefficient. Remember that you can never change subscript. We can add coefficient 2 in front of H2O molecule to balance hydrogen. Note that this coefficient change not only the number of oxygen atoms, but also the number of hydrogen atoms. Now, the number of hydrogen atoms in the product side are 4. That can get by multiplying subscript with coefficient. Keep in mind that the multiplication of subscript with coefficient gives the total number of atoms in that particular element. Thus, to balance hydrogen, hydrogen should also add coefficient 2 in front of H2 molecule in the reactant side. Now our equation is balanced. Now our balanced equation, we have 4 hydrogen atoms and 2 oxygen atoms in each side. 
Now you can see another equation. The reaction between ferric oxide and carbon to produce iron and carbon dioxide. Here there are two iron atoms, three oxygen atoms and one carbon atom in reactant site. And there are one iron atom, two oxygen atoms and one carbon atom in the product site. By looking at number of atoms in each side, we can say that only carbon atoms are balanced. Even though iron and oxygen are still unbalanced. So, we have to balance our equation by adding least possible coefficient. If we consider oxygen, there are three oxygen in left hand side and two oxygen in right hand side. So, we have to balance our equation by adding least possible coefficient. So, if we add coefficient 2 in front of ferri ferric oxide, the number of oxygen in our reactant side becomes 6. As I previously said, you can take it by multiplying subscript of oxygen with the coefficient. Likewise, if we add coefficient 3 in front of carbon dioxide, our oxygen atoms in the product side become 6. Now, oxygen in both sides are equal. But be careful that iron and carbon atoms are still not balanced. Now, the number of iron atoms and uh, number of iron atoms have become 4 because of the coefficient 2 in front of ferric oxide. So, in order to balance iron, we can add coefficient 4 in front of iron in the product side. Now, iron and oxygen atoms in our equation are balanced. And we have to see what happened to number of carbon atoms in each side. Still, there is one carbon atom in our reactant side. Although, there are three carbon atoms in the product side. So, simply we can add three in front of carbon in the reactant side in order to balance our equation. Now, our equation is totally balanced. There are four iron atoms, six oxygen atoms and three carbon atoms in each side of our balance equation. Let's examine another equation. C3H8, which is hydrocarbon called propane, react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Just like before, count the number of atoms in each side of the reactant arrow. In the reactant side, we have three carbon, eight hydrogen, and two oxygen. In the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogen, and three oxygen. Now, we are going to balance our equation. Let's consider carbon first. In the reactant side, we have three carbon atoms, but in the product side, it's only one. So, simply, we can add coefficient three in front of carbon dioxide. Now, carbon is balanced. Next, consider hydrogen element in both sides. In the reactant side, there are 8 hydrogen atoms and in the product side, there are 2 hydrogen atoms. So, what we can do to balance our equation? Same as previous, we can just add coefficient 4 in front of H2O. Now, our hydrogen also balance. Be careful guys still our oxygen is unbalanced. In the reactant side, we have two oxygen atoms and in the product side, we have totally 10 oxygen atoms, six atoms from carbon dioxide and four atoms from H2O. Hence, to balance our oxygen, we should add coefficient 5 in front of the oxygen molecule in the reactant side. Now, in our equation, oxygen also balanced. Our last step is double check the balance equation. In the balance equation, there are 3 carbon, 8 hydrogen and 10 oxygen in each side. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, please subscribe my channel to find out more lessons and always feel free to write any suggestions or comments. See you at the next video and thank you.